my name is Eliza and I'm a biblical counselor and writer. I write for the Biblical Counseling Coalition as well as my own blog, ElizaHuey.com. I wrote a book last year and am working on another project right now. And one of the things that I really like to do is to provide resources for people who are interested in biblical counseling, whether it be from the helper side or from the person seeking help. So today I wanted to talk to you about a book that I recently read that I really like. It's called Descriptions and Prescriptions by Mike Emlett. It's put out by New Growth Press. Excellent little book. It's not very big, it's small, and it's divided up into two parts. The first part is Understanding Psychiatric Diagnosis, where he really gets into the ins and outs of the descriptions in diagnoses, as well as what it means to have one. Um, excellent job of really exploring that. The second part is understanding psychoactive medications, which is very needed. He brings his experience as a medical doctor in, into this um, portion of the book. He really grabs hold of what it means to be embodied souls, where we have a physical body and a spiritual body, and sometimes our physical body needs care as well and what that can look like. Um, like I mentioned, the chapters are really short. They're like a page and a half each, so they're really easy to get through. I think you will find this very helpful if you are in the helping, um, if you're on the helping side of this, whether you're in official counseling ministry or maybe you are working at a church or do some kind of um, more uh, informal type of, of care for people. But it will also help you if you are looking to better understand your own mental health. Maybe you, you've considered um, what it might mean to be on medication for mental health, or maybe you are somebody who suffers from anxiety or depression, and it gives a really good approach on how to understand that biblically. That's what I really loved about it, is he takes the thesis, uh, his thesis is kind of this Goldilocks mentality of let's not be too hot, but let's not be too cold. Too cold being dismissive, where um, we disregard the, the area of mental health as it comes to us scientifically. Too hot being we embrace it too much and it becomes the silver bullet, like there's, there's nothing else really out there better. So both balancing both of those things is really what he does well in this with compassion and great understanding. Um, so check it out, it's by New Growth Press, the link is below, and um, I think you'll really like it. Thanks!